Hello everyone. Today we're going to have something really interesting for you because we're going to have a look at a Bing Chun practitioner who is going to take on a real fight, so to say. And it's a non-professional fight, but in a uh, street fight uh, controlled environment. And he's going against uh, a uh, non-Bing Chun fighter. And yeah, let's have a look how he's doing. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Oh, okay, okay, this must be some uh, older fights from him. So we have the Wing Chun fighter. On the left we see on his uh, chest, he has a little bit of fighting experience. Okay, all are happy, all are happy. Let's see. MMA rules. So let's see. I'm, I'm really interested to see how much Wing Chun this really is. Title says Wing Chun Master, so let's see. Okay, they, they look similarly matched from height and strength. Okay, he has the Wing Chun stance. You can see it a little bit. Good kicks. He's keeping his distance, but dropping his hand sometimes. But a lot of kicks. Quite aggressive going in. Okay, so so they they both can fight. Yeah? No one down yet. Really nice fights, and and he's pressuring. Okay, a little bit of elbow uh, and back fists. So yeah, you have to watch out for the rules which are allowed. So it's harder for the <laughs> for the Wing Chun guy to have some restrictions. But okay, so a little bit of grappling here. So not that many Wing Chun moves, but Wing Chun structure and distance, which I like. Some some elbow defenses. Okay, he's looking at, okay, okay, interesting. Good day. Good day. Oh, both a little bit uh, sloppy here. Not a lot of Wing Chun I'm seeing, but lot, lots of kicks. It's, he has good Wing Chun structure, no, that, that I give to him. Didn't look like uh, he is comfortable on the close distance though. But really, really nice kicks, keeping his, his distance here, being a little bit on the defensive. Some back fists here. Also taking some punches, so yeah, Big Chan guys can also take punches without falling down. Really good hit here, but he, he took it like a champ. They, they have gloves though, so uh, it's it's different than the non-gloved fight. Um, he also did not hit him when he was on the ground there, so let's see how round two goes. Okay. Oh, close, close. He's going in, chain punches, but they have to hit. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay, here we go. Really close in. Lot, lots of elbows. Falling away. He's taking all the kicks. Not much defense. 
Okay, and and then good joke. Yeah, so big jump fighter wins. Um, I mean, he's he definitely used some mixed martial arts here, so different styles. So yeah, funny. Uh, it's a good sport of both of them. They they are they are fair to each other. Yeah, so interesting fight uh, was uh, quite uh, quite a little bit of time two rounds so they, they are both <laughs> exhausted as you can see but they were really kind to each other but on on a close distance there, there was a little bit of a, of a struggle i feel like where the, the wing chun fighter should be more comfortable on the close distance than, than we saw here um, so i'm a little bit surprised by that on the other hand he, he really uh, had had great kicks and and also he he was strong with with his uh, posture and yeah so so in the end he won and it looked like he has a little bit more uh, fighting experience and technique than his opponent so yeah i hope you like that a uh, little bit of insight into what a fight can look like with some applied wing chun yeah i'm not saying that uh, this is the perfect application. Uh, so yeah, but for everyone who wanted to see just a little bit of more uh, realistic Wing Chun, maybe this gave you some uh, ideas. So yeah, uh, say keep uh, in the comments on what you think about it. And if you think this was also a joke fight or not, and uh, what do you think about it?